Hello viewers, in this session, we are going to learn about how to read CSV file using Apache Spark with Scala. And you could see this is the file which we are going to read and the, the, the values are separated with this comma. Okay, let's go into create a simple Scala class. Go ahead and name it as read CSV. Going to create this box session. Local object of create. Now we have created the spark session. With the help of the spark session, we're going to load the CSV file. Now we're going to load the CSV file into the spark session object. And there is a V dot formal with the help of database library and which is available in com dot data bricks dot spark dot csv dot load so here we need to define the complete part let's take the part of the file file name is sample underscore csv dot csv just going to take this backslash let's see the total set object oh fine now we have loaded our csv file into a data set object and let's see how the values are loaded show and so here we have some couple of uh, options is there so how many rows if you want to see so for example now i'm going to defend you want to see only two and is there any truncate option so we want to see as much of all the values so they're just randomly i'm going to give 100 and so if you want to see the data in horizontal or vertical now i'm going to see in horizontal just like just similar to our database table so i'm just going to run this file let's start building So started running a purchase part 3.0. See here. Okay. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. So you can see the first row C1, C2, C3, C5, C6. And then comma separated file will start. So I have defined the maximum size so I can able to see the complete value in the particular field. So here I didn't define the header. So if we need, if we want, so in a spark, if we not mention the header, if you mention the header, so what the spark will do automatically the it will assume the first call, first row as a header. Now, if you run the program, what Spark will do? So instead of underscore C0, it will assume C1 is the header. Okay. So, and, and another thing, sorry, just to, to show the difference of truncate, 
and what I'm going to do, I'm going to define only file so that we can able to see comma in the file and lambda six. So we can we can give six. Let's run the similar program. So the only difference is we have added the header and only two rows and the template is different. We have reduced the value from 100 to 6 so that we can see only few values just to see the difference. So we can see, so we have different editor. So it's me, the first row was a header. And so first row is a header and the number of rows is one, two, and the truncate is six. So we can see the comma and the file, so lambda. So these are all the values less than six. And so so far we are using uh, so far we have seen the data in the data set which is in the table format i mean in the horizontal so if you want to see the similar data in our vertical it just you need to make it as a group i'm just going to be run the same program let's see how it's look like let's talk a little here and application so just going to memory and yes no. so we have defined only two rows so it start with this index zero and one you can see just only two rows and we have defined the header so we we can able to see that it does c1 c2 c3 something and we can see the values so up to six comma and lambda file and it's a vertical so we can able to see the recording vertical format not in a horizontal i mean the table database table format so that's all about to read CSV file using Apache Spark with a scalar. So please share your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And thanks for watching.